Well, researchers at San Diego's Safari Park are racing against time trying to help save the northern white rhino. It is one of the most endangered species on the planet. Only five remain, and their chances of reproduction are slim. CCTV's Maylee reports science may be their only hope for survival. Angelifu, or Angie as he was affectionately called, was one of six northern white rhinos left in the world. But last December, Angie died of cancer at the age of 44 at the San Diego Zoo Safari Park. The news of his death made global headlines because it meant the species was one step closer to extinction. That was a very, very difficult loss uh, because it, on both sides of it, the genetics of it, and then losing that animal that was just an incredibly, uh, it, he was such a great animal, it's just another nail in the coffin, so to speak. But Angie left behind crucial genetic material for researchers to work with that may help bring the northern white rhino back from the brink. This is the frozen zoo at the San Diego Zoo Institute for Conservation Research, the largest gene bank of its kind. Genetic material from more than 10,000 individual animals are literally frozen in time here, including 12 northern white rhinos. Because it's believed the five remaining northern whites cannot reproduce, what's stored in these steel drums may be their only hope for survival. So we have to test all of those. Barbara Durant is director of reproductive physiology at the Institute. The research done here is cutting edge and highly experimental. Freezing tissue, um, inducing cells to become other kinds of cells, and manipulating them in vitro, it does become uh, very complicated and very, very much like a science fiction movie. The hope is to use the genetic material, including sperm, skin cells, and other tissues, for medically assisted reproduction. Artificial insemination and in vitro fertilization would use frozen sperm of a northern white rhino and pair it with the egg of a southern white rhino. The pairing would produce a hybrid, and if female, she could then be inseminated with northern white rhino sperm, which would produce a calf that scientists say would be very close to pure northern white. And then there's the complex and highly experimental option of stem cell technology, which would take the skin cells of a northern white rhino and manipulate them to create new sperm and eggs. But this option has a lot of unknowns, and it's only been successful in a mouse. And unfortunately, the more we manipulate a cell in culture, the more we change its gene expression. So there, there are issues with doing that much manipulation. Because then do you actually get the original animal anymore? Right. While Durant and her team work on reproductive methods to save the rhino, next door, scientist Christopher Tubbs focuses on a theory about how diet affects reproduction in captive female rhinos of all varieties. They're normally fed soy and alfalfa-based foods. In the wild, rhinos eat mostly grass. To this point, our work is, is showing a really strong correlation between, um, between estrogenicity of diet and poor reproduction in captive-born females. So this could really be a breakthrough. Potentially, we hope so. It is a, a relatively easy fix in that you just have to pay a little bit more money to get diets made of grass or, or foods that don't have lots of estrogen. But scientists admit research alone cannot save the rhino. Public awareness and change in human behavior are essential in the fight to save endangered species. It's a multifaceted effort from, you know, people like me working in the lab, people like you reporting on these stories, to, you know, people on the ground protecting rhino herds. There's enough of us interested in it. I think, I think we'll be able to do it because I think we've worked too hard not to. May Lee, CCTV, Escondido, California.